Hello, my name is Michael Emery. This video is designed to accompany the Transpersonal Meditation app. Let's begin by defining the term transpersonal. This refers to stages of consciousness that are beyond normal ego functioning. This is beyond the individual's perception of I-based thinking and into a state of consciousness that is also beyond words, time, and space. Traditionally, this has been considered to be the realm of spiritual and religious experience. But when you study the lives of the individuals who have had such transpersonal experiences, you might find it empowering to realize that they weren't so different from you and I. An individual who is considered to be one of the pioneers of psychology, William James, studied a wide range of states of consciousness, and his studies included altered states, religious states, hypnosis, and even paranormal states. In his studies, what William James discovered is that each thought emerges from a stream of consciousness, which takes its force, content, focus, and direction from previous thoughts. I find it interesting to note that nearly a century ago, William James stated that any theory of personality that does not take into account altered states of consciousness is an incomplete description of the fundamental human experience. So what do we do with this stream of consciousness? How do we use it and not be manipulated by it? In the book, Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind, Shunryu Suzuki wrote, if your mind is open, it is ready for anything. It is open to everything. In the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities, and in the expert's mind, there are few. There are many preconceptions about meditation, what it is and what it means. In The Journey of Awakening, a meditator's guidebook, the author Ram Das writes that many people initially begin meditating out of curiosity or seeking to resolve a psychological illness or searching for pleasure or power. The goal of all of these is to strengthen the ego, for as the ego becomes more comfortable, happy, and powerful, its prison walls thicken. The ego will not allow for examination of itself. Meditation makes you more calm and quiet, and in this stillness, other motives, deeper motives, begin to arise as your meditation becomes deeper. Ram Das also writes that enlightened beings have always said, clinging to any experience or possession that is in time causes suffering because everything changes. Both pleasure and pain are in time. And to fully escape suffering, one must seek beyond the polarities of pleasure and pain and beyond time. If you haven't already read Ram Dass's book, Journey of Awakening, I encourage you to do so. I also feel it important to point out that Ram Dass says that meditation involves a full spectrum of possibilities. Sitting quietly with your eyes closed is only one of the many ways to meditate, says Ram Das. You can meditate while you're making tea, while you're dancing, while you're chanting the names of God. It doesn't so much matter what you're doing with your body, it matters what you are doing with your mind. One type of meditation might emphasize the quietness of mind. Another might be summoning the forces of the universe. And another possibility could be embodying compassion. The essence of meditation is mindfulness. I'm going to leave you to your meditation with a selected reading from the Journey of Awakening. And I thought it would be powerful to superimpose images of the 10 ox herding pictures, which outline the 10 stages of enlightenment. To meditate upon thoughts is simply to be aware, as thoughts arise, that the mind is thinking without getting involved in the content, not going off on a train of association, not analyzing the thought and why it came, but merely to be aware that at the particular moment, thinking is happening. It is helpful to make a mental note of thinking, thinking, every time a thought arises. Observe the thought without judgment, without reaction to the content, without identifying with it, without taking the thought to be I, or self, or mine. The thought is the thinker. There is no one behind it. The thought is thinking itself. 
it comes uninvited. You will see that when there is a strong detachment from the thought process, thoughts don't last long. As soon as you are mindful of a thought, it disappears. Some people may find it helpful to label the thinking process in a more precise way, to note different kinds of thoughts, whether planning or imagining or remembering. This sharpens the focus of attention. Otherwise, the simple note of thinking, thinking, will serve the purpose. Try to be aware of the thought as soon as it arises, rather than some minutes afterward. When they are noticed with precision and balance, they have no power to disturb the mind. Thoughts should not be treated as obstacles or hindrances. They are just another object of mindfulness, another object of meditation. Don't let the thought become lazy and drift along. Make the effort for a great deal of clarity with respect to what's happening in the moment. Suzuki Roshi in Zen Mind Beginner's Mind writes, when you are practicing Seizen meditation, do not try to stop your thinking. Let it stop by itself. If something comes into your mind, let it come in and let it go out. It will not stay long. When you try to stop your thinking, it means you are bothered by it. Do not be bothered by anything. It appears that the something comes from outside your mind, but actually it is only the waves of your mind. And if you're not bothered by the waves, gradually they'll become calmer and calmer. Many sensations come, many thoughts or images arise, but they're just waves from your own mind. Nothing comes from outside your mind. If you leave your mind as it is, it will become calm. This mind is called big mind. Just let things happen as they do. Let all images and thoughts and sensations arise and pass away without being bothered, without reacting, without judging, without clinging, without identifying with them. Become one with the big mind, observing carefully, microscopically, all the waves coming and going. This attitude will quickly bring about a state of balance and calm. Don't let the mind get out of focus. Keep the mind sharply aware, moment to moment, of what is happening, whether the in-breath sensations or thoughts. In each instant, be focused on the object with a balanced and relaxed mind. Thank you.